My name is Timothy Hawk, and I believe that the United States should legally require all able-bodied men from the ages of 18 to 24 years old to serve in the armed forces. Now picture a society in which enlistment in the military is mandatory for all physically fit men in the U.S. who are between the ages of 18 and 24. I am here to convince you that all able-bodied men in the U.S should be legally required to enlist in the armed forces, even though this idea may seem unorthodox to some. Though contentious, the issue of required military service is one that merits discussion. Since we are the country's future leaders, we as college students must recognize the significance of national defense and the part that each of us can play in maintaining the the security of our country. Bowman states that armed service enlistment has declined over the years. I have studied the particulars of armed forces and national defense as a political science student and as a proud American. Now I have come here today to persuade you of my belief that every physically fit man must play a part in ensuring the safety of our nation. And with these commitments from our young men and women, it guarantees national unity, a powerful and competent military, and teaches our citizens a sense of security for our liberty and freedom. First, national unity will be promoted by mandatory military services from people of all walks of life with different backgrounds to create bonds that go beyond economic status, religion, and race. Our country is strengthened by this bond, which also promotes a feeling of shared identity and purpose. Secondly, all men who are physically capable of serving should enlist unless they are the only male in the family which would prohibit the family name if if expired. America needs more protection from possible dangers and threats from foreign nations. Required enlistment can also add in addressing issues related to recruitment and make certain our armed forces are prepared for any occurrences that may arise. RESCO mentions that recruits have declined in the last two decades. Thirdly, our young men will learn discipline and duty needed for the military services. Gang violence will decrease and crime overall will decline against our citizens. According to Howell, mass shootings in the last 10 years have been perpetrated by young men. According to Huff, crime and gangs and gun violence have increased significantly by our young men. Homeless youth have increased all over the U.S., giving us, giving rise to more crime and violence. More in states, homelessness in young men have contributed to the increase of violent crimes throughout the United States. Moreover, people who served in the armed forces, we learned the importance of dedication, sacrifice, and hard work. It cultivates a culture of commitment and service and promotes an awareness of duty towards our nation. Young black men significantly outnumber other races in homelessness and gang activities. Stewart states, the young black men have a I am not letting no one disrespect me mentality that leads to increased violence against other black youth as well as other races. And so all physically capable men, I believe, should serve in the military, which is not only vital for one's security of our nation, but will also strengthen the number of our military. So henceforth, there are those who contend that military, required military duty that is, it violates a person's right 
to independence and privacy, they say. It is also critical to understand that protecting our country is a privilege. And so the greater welfare of our country must come first. Even though it is true that mandatory recruitment it limits personal freedom to some extent. In the same way that laws compel to contribute fees or serve in courts as jurors, military service is a vital obligation that protects our nation's safety and security. And in conclusion, the U.S. should legally require all able-bodied men from the ages of 18 to 24 years old to serve in the armed forces. It promotes national unity. By fulfilling this obligation, we contribute to the defense and well-being of our nation. And we uphold the values that make the United States a great country. And so it is time for us to recognize the importance of mandatory military services and embrace it as a necessary and beneficial requirement.